Hey girls, on this fateful day 16 years ago, Bethesda Softworks released the best video game ever made. If you somehow can't tell what game it is from the title and thumbnail, I'm going to show you right now. The classic action role-playing game, Fallout 3. I'm just going to go ahead and explain this because I know at least one person is going to ask. Cat, why do you have two copies of the same game? Well, I have a very simple answer. I'm crazy. But seriously though, these are not the only two copies of Fallout 3 I have. I actually have the game for PC on Steam, which is how I play it nowadays because, you know, 60 FPS, high resolution, you get to play with a few mods, all of that stuff. If you're going to play Fallout 3 nowadays, I highly recommend you play it on Steam on PC. Fallout 3 is actually kind of notorious for having a stinker of a PC port, but surprisingly, I don't know what the heck Bethesda did, but it is so much more playable nowadays. Like, I don't know how or when Bethesda managed to fix Fallout 3 on PC, but I don't have any issues with it nowadays, and thankfully other people have less issues now, so that's always really cool. <laughs> Excuse me? Should I cut that or leave it in? I might leave it in. Anyway, in case you're wondering if I really do think that Fallout 3 is the best game of all time, no. Personally speaking, I really don't think there is a best game of all time. Like, there's literally countless video games and everyone has different tastes and opinions. So like, how the hell can you like factually say one game is the best? But when we are strictly talking about tastes and opinions, Fallout 3 along with New Vegas are definitely my favorite games of all time. I have literally played both of those games for an innumerable amount of hours. If you somehow don't know this, or if you can't tell just by watching me, I'm on the autism spectrum. So naturally that leads to me having like very specific interests that I like become hardwired to obsess over. And the Fallout games, particularly Fallout 3 and New Vegas, those are my autistic obsessions. Like, I'm literally obsessed with those games. I really wish I could learn new stuff about them, but I honestly can't. As for the other Fallout games, I really love Fallout 4, but I don't like it as much as 3 and New Vegas, but I still think it's a great game. And earlier this year, I played 76 for the first time. I actually made two whole YouTube videos talking about it. It really wasn't a game for me. I didn't really like it personally, but it is a decent game and I feel like you should give it a try. Now, when it comes to Fallout 1 and 2, I just have never been able to get into them strictly from a gameplay perspective. I really like the storylines and the lore of both of those games, and they also have fantastic musical scores composed by Mark Morgan. I absolutely adore the soundtrack in the old school Fallout games. Actually, I love the soundtrack in every single Fallout game. I mentioned that I didn't really like 76 that much, but even that game has a pretty good score. But yeah, to make a short video short, I really love Fallout 3. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I don't actually think it's the best game of all time, but it really is a fantastic game, despite it being a little bit dated. This game is literally 16 years old. Like, I played this game way back in 2009 for the first time. It was actually one of the games that we got for our PS3 when we first got it. Yeah. We didn't get a PS3 until 2009 because I grew up in a poor family, but the first games we got for the PS3 was Fallout 3 and GTA 4. Two really good games for sure, but deep down, everybody knows which one is better. Anyway, that's gonna be the whole video. It's really hot in this bathroom and it also stinks really bad, so I really wanna get out of here. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye girls.